going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing an effect that I found in DaVinci Resolve that I think can give an extra little punch to your videos and an extra little cinematic look to your videos that is very subtle, but gives that little extra edge that we're always looking for as filmmakers. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. It's gonna be a quick one, quick little tutorial for you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so we're in DaVinci Resolve. You're gonna open up your coloring panel. This is gonna be right after you've color graded all of your footage, you put your edit together, you've put everything in a nice little package, and you've color graded it, you've got your look that you're going for. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over and make one more node to your footage. Label this one Glow. You're gonna go into Open Effects. Go ahead and scroll down to the Glow effect and go ahead and drop that on that node. Now, if you're lucky, uh, straight off, you're gonna love it. If you're not lucky, and this is most times, you're going to go ahead and click on that node and just start adjusting and dialing in how the glow effect works on your footage. You can dial in the brightness, dial in the threshold, dial in uh, the spread of the glow, and what this is gonna do is just kinda soften up those really bright areas, almost like a diffusion filter or a mist filter or a Hollywood filter, anything around that area. This is really just gonna brighten up and soften the highlights and really just bring a little bit of that cinematic look back into your footage. Now, something that you can do is just adjust that threshold to really increase or decrease how much the glow comes through. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna be overpowering anything with this effect. That's just a subtle little hint of glow that you want to be putting over your footage that's really going to make it just pop. So kind of just dial in to how your footage graded. Every piece of video is going to be a little bit different, so you're just going to have to dial it in for each clip. But after you have, it looks really, really, really good and I think brings in a lot more life and a lot more professionalism into your footage for free. You know, you don't have to spend 100 200 300 dollars on a mist filter, a diffusion filter, anything like that. You can just kind of throw it in on post. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same. It's not going to be perfect, but for most cases, this is an easy workaround that I think is really cool and I thought was worth sharing. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. There's going to be a quick little tutorial. I'll be back with another video pretty darn soon. Before you go, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button. Let me know what you thought of this video down below or any future videos you'd like to see from me. Share this video if you can do that. That's that's a big one. Share the video. Share the video. That's a good one. Drink some coffee. Be creative. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'm going to bed because it's late.